from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Hello again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. They've got a full half season since their last loss. Winners of eight in a row. And you don't get on win streaks like this without your defense playing a big role. They've created quite an identity. And I know they want an ex To kick off, here's Will Lutz. And we're off from Arrowhead. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So here come the Chiefs, taking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, fresh off a third Super Bowl title. The standard for quarterback excellence today, Patrick Mahomes. Just an all-around great performance from him last week, Kate, in the win. Those two touchdowns he had played a big part in the victory, no question. But so did keeping it clean, not throwing a pick. You want to become friendly with your own defense? Make sure they don't have any extra possessions to defend. He did his job, and so did his teammates. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. Third down, one yard to go. They give it to him again. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Throwing the out route complete. And he's tackled for a short game. Well, as we see the names populating this injury report, partner, we recognize they've had to do some adjusting over the course of the season as key contributors have gone down. And this, right here, this is where fan favorites and surprise superstars are born, Kate. From guys having to step in as a result of these injuries. You never root for players to miss time and go down, but you'll always root for the guys filling in who are getting their shot to make their name and contribute when it really matters. Putting a receiver in motion. Third and short, here's Mahomes. Finds his man, it's Worthy. And they're gonna haul him down just shy of the 40. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And the Chiefs are gonna have a first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. A successful opening drive, nearing field goal range now. It's first down at the 41. Throwing again, Mahomes. Cut by Hunt. He's still going at the 30. They pick up 20 yards there. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Gotta be a pretty good actor. Gotta be pretty good at selling to that defense. That's a drop back pass. When you get a big play on the screen like that, boy, it's choreography by everybody on that offense. Hits him on the out route. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. I love throwing a first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Another throw for Mahomes. This one's caught. And he's to the five before going out of bounds. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Again, Mahomes to throw. Catch is made in close. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And the pressure drives them backwards. All right, first sack on the board on the first drive as a defense. And now, well, now we let the chess match begin. The adjustments begin because we know pressure leads to sacks. And sacks in this league often leads to wins. 
So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. He stopped on the return of the 27. So the Broncos offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. And if he could only flip that three to one ratio, have it be three touchdowns to one pick instead of the other way around, I think we'd have seen that loss flip to a win as well. Cleats lead this week. We'll see what he's done to address the showing from his last time out. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. That's got to be so frustrating for the running. You're fighting the good fight. He even ripped through a tackle to stay afloat. But the blocking can't buy you enough time or room to even get back to the line of scrimmage. Finds a man. Adam Trapman has it. And he'll get it up to the 27. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you've got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to give him the ball. You know, that is so hard to do. That's called body control. Great positioning to swat the ball away, not go through the receiver, no penalty flag. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. And that fair catch corralled just beyond the 25-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. On first down, they'll run. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. to the well again and he got it real close but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down third and a lone yard coming up another carry for him and they'll make the stop up at the 46 yard line they come through with a nice gain there gain of 10 first down win the early battle Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. First and ten. It's Mahomes. That one complete to Hopkins. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. We're at the end of one in a defensive showdown that has lived up to its billing thus far. Just a field goal separates these two. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. About set for the second quarter. Chiefs football here. They're looking at second and pretty short. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Finds him over the middle. And he works this to the 38 before going down. He manages a gain of eight there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. That tackle by Levi Wallace. Broncos bringing out an extra DB. Third down coming up. Back to throw Mahomes. Coverman is there and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. And you ask a lot of your defenders on that field. It is not easy to play defense in today's NFL. Not only stay in their assignments, hip pocket, but to make plays on the ball as it arrives. He was challenged with an intermediate throw and he swatted it away with ease. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to 
to send that puppy through. Reed now to kick this one away. Has this at the six. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Broncos and quarterback Bo Nix gearing up for their next series. And he's been somebody who can get the scoring done with his legs just as much as his arm. You can see he's top five for touchdowns among NFL QBs. Here's Williams to start the drive. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. Brought to a halt by Brian Cook. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Another run for Williams. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? But they're the exact opposite here, Kate. Now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. On third down, here's Nix. Complete beyond the marker. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. New set of downs for him from the 46. Up the gut they go with Williams. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Play action with Nix. Caught, this is Greg Dulcich. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. Markers reset, ball at the 37. On first and 10, here's Nix. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. From the gun, a carry by Williams. Along the sideline, inside the 25. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And the Broncos will have a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. To the line we go. They're set, first and 10. Working inside the red zone. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And it's gonna be second down. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he doesn't get this one very far. Down to only about the 18. Chiefs in a nickel set for this third down call. Out of the gun, it's Nix. Escapes the pocket. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. I think his decision making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. <laughs> this QB can run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. Will Lutz getting the call on fourth down to put three up here for the Broncos. It's from the right hash, 46 yards. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that cuts the lead in half, down to three. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Offense heading out now for the Chiefs. They come in riding an eight-game winning streak, one of the longest in the league all season, partner. And they're in control of what could be win number nine. Throwing on first down, Mahomes. Fits it through the middle. 
And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. It's a gain of 19 on the play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Only one play in, Brock, and this drive already to midfield. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. He's got Watson. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Sent down by Cody Barton. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. They'll run the counter. And he has them a first down, which they will tackle on the other side of this two-minute warning. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Has him on the quick hitter. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. That tackle by Levi Wallace. Second and six coming up here. Mahomes. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to have it after his second interception of the season. You know what this is, Kate? This is the practice field coming to life. Really on both sides of the ball. Right? You watch defensive coaches preach all the time, and they work on these returns to get to the near sideline, everybody to get a block, and then for those offensive players to show the effort to go chase that down so it's not a pick six. Yeah, it stinks for the offense, but that was the practice field coming to life for everybody to see. Throwing on first down, Knicks. That's complete to Vele. And he's down inside the red zone before hitting the deck. We have a timeout called by the Broncos. That's their first. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and 10. From the red zone now. Short pass brought in. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone, just short of the 15. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward. Keeps you on schedule and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. You know, when we were growing up in the backyard, we call them alligators. One alligator, two alligator, three alligator. He needed another alligator in order to get that ball off. Credit the defense for forcing the incompletion. He'll dump this one off to his running back. Complete. And this is down all the way to the three. Denver calls the second of its three timeouts. Williams has the Denver touchdown. The Broncos take the lead just before halftime. Javante Williams the touchdown. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos take a four-point lead. Here's Lutz set to kick this away. Fielded at the seven. Pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Chiefs returning their offense and this running back to the field. Only 17 seconds left for them as they begin this drive. And with field position and the clock against them, probably not going to see anything of substance here before halftime. He swarms in the middle. This gets maybe a yard. Sent down by Cody Barton. Just a yard on the run, and we've reached the end of our first half. All right, Kate, we'll get back to you and Brock in a bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window. This is the NFL after this one ends. We're moving right along to the start of the second half. He fields it from the 8. They'll bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Broncos with their offense headed out for our first possession of the half. 
And it has been all about these defenses so far, Brock. Even into the second half, we're still waiting for one of these offenses to take charge. Yeah, what you're feeling, these defenses are making every yard tough, every first down tough, every series tough. And offensively, yeah, it's time to toughen up, and maybe more importantly, sharpen up. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Looking for the back that time. So now it's going to be third and long. Shotgun snap to Knicks. Finds a man right side. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter. But they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Fourth down and on comes the punt team and the kicks away. And he'll have this fair catch right along the 25. That punt goes unanswered. No return there. And they're going to take over possession. Running it now out of the gun. And that's good for a gain of five. P.J. Locke getting there for the stop. Give him five on that carry. Bring it up second and five. They send the tight end in motion. Completed over the middle. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. All right, set now. First and ten. back in the backfield and he gets the handoff and two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught pj lock getting there for the stop he gets a couple on first and they'll come up second and eight back to back carries here and he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down a split second, all to get the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split-second reactions. A nice bit of burst surge forward for enough to go get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. Breaks the tackle, green grass ahead. And finally, they bring him down. He shook off a couple of defenders there on a nice pickup. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's the lone back on the handoff. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Just two yards there on the carry. They're going to need another two now on third down. Now a pass play. Here's Mahomes. He has the first over the middle. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Shotgun handoff to Piran. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Okay, that's a run that's ho-hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. Second and eight. This one finds Kelsey. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. Third and four coming up now. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. Finds him over the middle. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. That one ends up a gain of six. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. Handoff now from the gun. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Let's get 
Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. Catch made over the middle. And he'll get this inside the 10 to the nine. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Cut by Hunt. And this one's stopped at the three-yard line. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. So we're through three here. It's the Chiefs in possession to start. They trail, but that lead is reachable. Offense staying out there. It's fourth and one. They'll go. It's Mahomes. He's on the move. And they will score. Touchdown, Kansas City. The Chiefs take a fourth quarter lead. Patrick Mahomes, the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. Reed now to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. Denver ready for another offensive possession. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. God begins with a run. It's Williams. And he found some running room for a nice game. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second to one. They stay on the ground with Williams. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. And with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Now Nick's on third down. Finds a seam down the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Well, you don't normally get that type of outcome on a slant. You're just looking for a little short yard gain. But find the right type of athlete with space to work before and a perfectly placed ball after the catch. It's a perfect play to break it big. And it took a couple of guys to haul him down there after a gain of just one. Okay, this is why you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. You've got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming. But more importantly, this defensive front did too. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's the type of call that offensively, man, it just builds so much confidence. I don't even think they were looking to get the first down. Just get to a manageable third down. But instead, they move the chains, and that is one disheartening look on that defense. Dumped off to his running back. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Just one yard on the carry, though. It's third and seven now. Nicks from the gun. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Got all of it, and this is good. And in the fourth quarter, that's going to tie the game. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time 
Well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. Starting from the five. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Chiefs back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. And his production is carried over into this second half. He keeps on running well, even with the workload they placed upon him. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. One of the tight ends in motion left. First and 10, it's Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And this one does not go far. You know, as any quarterback is going to tell you, that's one of the most difficult things to do. Knowing you're going to get blasted. That defender's coming right at you, but you got to throw an accurate ball. It does two things. Number one, it strikes fear in the defense. And number two, you gain respect for your teammates. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Looking to throw. Complete beyond the marker. We'll have the first down and even more. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? Man, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Second and three now. Here's the handoff. And he stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. It's a pickup of 11, and it'll be first down, Kansas City. That takes us to the two-minute warning here in KC. Chiefs in range for a game-winning score. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. Lone back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. They'll run now on second down. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. We have a timeout called by the Broncos. That's their first. Third and four coming up now. They give it to him again. And they'll stop him after a short gain to the 13. Denver calls the second of its three timeouts. Harrison Butker out now. He knows how big this try is. A very short kick here from the right hash. That one is good! And late in the fourth, they have grabbed the lead. That's called getting his job done, Kate. Drilling it right through. And now they're in position to win this game. Counts on some of those guys who are out there with them on the kick, those defenders, to hang on to this lead to give them the win. And this drive will start inside the 25. Denver set to take the field on offense. And they'll have a little momentum as they take the field here after their kicker drilled a deep one to end their last drive with points. Looking to throw it. This finds Franklin. Keeps on moving into the red zone. And he will score and give him the lead in the final minute. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves him in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. A chance to take their lead beyond a field goal on this point after. And it's good. So they take the lead and the extra point buys them some breathing room. A field goal does not tie it now. He 
Here's Lunt, set to kick this away. Return coming from the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Chiefs offense out to take over. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. They're out and set. First and ten. Throwing now. Finds his man over the middle. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Now to throw. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. To throw. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's able to cross midfield before going out. To the line for a new set of downs. Only a lone timeout at their disposal. Here he is to throw. Short pass brought in. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. The Chiefs will use their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here he is to throw. Kelsey makes the catch. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Trying to set this up quick. He'll look to throw it. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Four snap to his right. So the Broncos ride out of here with a win on the road. And there was no easing up. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. The Broncos are winners as we say so long from Kansas City.